Hello, fellow YouTubers and Facebook friends and Twitters and Tweeters and all that. Welcome to this edition of the Armchair Sportsman. Going back to the year 1992, take you on a little fishing trip to Middle River. Middle River is a uh, tributary of the Shenandoah River. It's in the uh, western part of the state. And uh, we'll be going there for a couple minutes worth of video. Also, I want to start the program off today with video sent by Cousin Zach of some uh, shots of Lake Dora, Lake Beauclair, and uh, that area around Central Florida. Also, he's got some video of a gar that uh, he shot the video while he was fishing. This gar comes up to the dock. He's able to get a couple of pictures of it and uh, shoot the... Uh, video of the gar, so I think you'll enjoy that. And he also took a picture of a fish uh, Cousin Jack caught. A bow fin or mud fish or swamp trout, whatever. Caught him on an artificial lure, I'm not sure what kind, but those crazy fish will bite anything. We caught a bunch of them one year on bread, on worms, marshmallows, uh, artificial jigs, grubs, just about anything they'd hit it. They fight good, but you don't want to get your fingers in their mouth. And coming up at the end of the video, if you listen real close, I'll point it out. I have a special cameo appearance by voice only of Freddy the Cat. Freddy likes to get on there and uh, make noise while I'm doing narration. So anyway, I hope you'll stick around and watch all the video. It won't take it very long for you to, uh, or for the video to play. So thanks for tuning in. On my right, that's Lake Dora right there. And you can see the road right here. And then that right there on the left side, that's Lake Beauclair. So you can see there's probably about 25 yards or so in between Lake Dora and Lake Beauclair. I just want to show you real quick. And Lake Beauclair is clear. No waves out there. Very calm. Sheltered from this, this little piece of land. I'm looking out on Lake Beauclair. And right there, you can see the canal. Lake Carlton. Well, let's go back to the year 1992. There's my little uh, Beagle Hound Dixie Lee fishing on the Middle River. Uh, that's a tributary of the Shenandoah River in uh, western Virginia, uh, west of Stanton, Virginia, a few miles there. It's a bluegill, quite a few of those in the Middle River, as well as uh, all kinds of varieties of fish, even eels. I never caught an eel out there, and I'm glad I just soon not catch an eel. But there's a lot of different uh, species of fish in there. There's another bluegill. And I was fishing with uh, night crawlers that day. There's a rock bass, or we like to call them red eyes. Uh, fun little fish to catch, pretty good to eat. But uh, most of the time I just threw them back. But uh, they're a good eating fish, that's for sure. They don't get very big, they fight pretty good. And then there's another uh, rock bass there, a red eye coming out of the Middle River. And uh, I think this video is about a couple different times because I got rained out there on one. and went back and made some more video uh, later on. So that's not a bad red eye right there. You catch them around eight inches, that's a pretty good size. Rarely do you catch one 10 inches or more. Uh, but a lot of fun to catch on light tackle. And let's see, I believe that's another uh, bluegill there. There's a little old chub. And, uh, we call him a poor man's bass there. Chub, I think caught him. Well, I think everything on night crawlers that day. I wasn't uh, using artificial lures because there was a lot of uh, brush and leaves around. I didn't want to lose a expensive lure. There's another pretty nice bluegill there. That's not a bad one. 
There, there's a smallmouth bass. That's the highlight of the trip right there. Anytime you can catch a smallmouth. Pound for pound, they're really good fighters there. So let's look back over to uh, Middle River. I don't know if you can hear this cat in the background squalling around, but uh, anyway, he's making a lot of noise here today. And there's the fish. We uh, kept a few of them in the basket, and then we turned them loose. We decided we didn't want to take them home and clean them, so we'll we just turn them loose there and let them live another day.